Ah, the classic tale of fandom and fury. Here we have Rhee's fans who just wanted to express their adoration. Maybe too much? Oh wait, what's that? A pesky stalker is in the way. Cue the dramatic showdown. Picture this. Fans ready to take on bodyguards like they were auditioning for a Marvel superhero movie. Avengers? Assemble? No, just Rhee's enthusiasts armed with nothing but sheer passion and some questionable life choices. Let's not forget the bodyguards, who probably signed up expecting to protect the stars, but are now dodging flying bags and fervent fans. One moment they're sipping coffee, the next it's who let the fans in. Quick, deploy the shields. Imagine a day at work where your coworkers are cosplaying as a K-pop group and you're just there trying to keep calm amidst the chaos. It's like a scene from a comedy, but this is real life. And then we have the true stars of the show, the Rees members, blissfully unaware while their loyal fans are engaged in a mini Olympics of protection and passion. How lovely it must be to be adored to the point of causing a fan riot. Can you picture them peeking out of their van? Why is everyone shouting? I thought we were just here for a two hour rehearsal. Did we order chaos to go? They should probably start handing out t-shirts that read, I survived the Rees fan experience and all I got was this slight bruise. Seriously though, when did fan interactions turn into a scene that would make any action movie director proud? I'd love to see the behind the scenes footage for this one. And on the right, we have the dedicated bodyguard keeping the peace while dodging a water bottle thrown in the name of love. Honestly, if there's no slow motion replay for this moment, I'm gonna be incredibly disappointed because who doesn't wanna witness a splash zone at a K-pop event? But oh, the drama doesn't end there. We've got fans competing for the title of ultimate protector like it's an Olympic event. Next thing you know, we'll be having trophy ceremonies for the daring feats of fandom. And the Fan of the Year Award goes to the brave soul who placed their life at risk to save their beloved idols from an overly enthusiastic stalker. Bravo. The passion is palpable, but maybe slightly misplaced? Just a thought. Let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room, shall we? Stalking is so not cool. We absolutely do not condone that behavior. But the irony is, the very act of trying to protect their idols can sometimes unravel into a comedy of errors. Fans banding together to stand against a common enemy very well might turn into a slapstick scenario right out of a zany sitcom. Who will save our precious idols? Spoiler alert, not the fans fending off the very bodyguards meant to protect them. So here's the million dollar question. Do we applaud these fans for their unyielding loyalty and questionable tactics? Or do we sit back and ask ourselves, how did it come to this? Did we sign up for the K-drama? Are bodyguards now part-time referees in the wild world of fandom? Are you ready to join in on the fun? Or will you stick to the sidelines munching popcorn while observing this thrilling circus of Rees? Let's hear your thoughts. Like and subscribe, please.